everyone. Do you want to see what I sold this week? Stick around and you can get some ideas of what is selling. This is episode 19. Please hit subscribe. So I didn't do any uh, what selling uh, videos during the first couple of weeks of the new year just because I posted some other things. And I am changing the platform for the sales running Monday to Monday. I used to do Wednesday to Wednesday, but this way I get a little bit more time before I post on Wednesday. So these sales are from January 9th to January 16th. The Frog Planter. I bought this on our bus trip in June in Yankton at a little store in Yankton. I paid $4.50 for it, sold it for $45 with $10.71 shipping, profit of $29.79. It was really cute, I, I did like this. Um, okay, this was a gorgeous antique hand-carved picture frame that would hang on the wall. I got it at um, an estate sale for $11. I believe it was on a half price day. I sold it for $125, uh, shipping $9.94. So I made a profit of $104.06. Okay, these next two items somebody bought together, so I did give them a bit of a discount. I don't even know what this necklace is. I call it an alien. Um, I, don't, I don't know what it is, but definitely from the probably the 60s. I picked him up for $3 at a garage sale, sold him for $14.50 with, um, because I combined shipping, it was only $202 to ship, so a profit of $9.48. The next brooch, a peacock brooch, bought it at the same sale for $20, and the reason I did that um, was when I was doing some Google searches on it, it was kind of a popular 1950s brooch. Mine was not signed. I think it was made by Sphinx. Um, yeah, I think that I think that's what somebody had told me. I'd researched it a lot, never did really find the exact one. Sold it for fifty-two dollars, and again, since combined shipping, two hundred two, so I made a profit of twenty-nine ninety-eight. The ceramic candles. They had applied flowers to them. Picked these up at a garage sale for fifty cents. Uh, they sold for thirty dollars and six twelve shipping, so profit twenty three thirty eight. Uh, this barometer I bought at a state sale. I did pay. I was kind of surprised when I went back to my uh, database and saw how much I paid for it. I paid sixteen dollars and seventy five cents. I had heard that barometers and weather instruments, especially like mid century modern ones, uh, sold very well. And this one sold for $65 with $5.23 shipping, profit of $43.02. Some things surprised me. This one did kind of surprise me. Long ago, I bought a huge trunk. It was a little doll trunk um, full of tiny dolls, like probably from the 40s, 50s, 60s a bunch of little tiny doll clothes in it, and I've been selling them off piece by piece. This is a Renoir, father and son. Uh, they're like hard plastic for doll houses. And so I'm gonna say I paid a dollar for them. I sold them for 30 with 428 shipping, so a profit of 24.72. I think I paid like $10 for this whole trunk, and I have made a lot of money off of that. When you can, you know, like, piece it out separately, you can tend to really find some profits in a, in a deal like that. So this were this was two Czech perfume bottles and a, a Czech crystal vanity jar, all matching patterns. I bought this for $15. Now, truth be told, I can't remember where I bought it. It said that I bought it at a thrift store, so probably, so $15 for this. Uh, sold it for $84 with $12.10 shipping, a profit of $56.90. Oh, this is one of my best finds. I mean, one of the things that I love doing. On the Wisconsin yard sale trip last year, I saw this 
two vases actually. This was one of two vases I picked up. They were each 50 cents. But I just knew when I looked at them that they were something special. They were signed on the bottom by Nikos Gazilidis, which after doing a little bit of research, it was a Greek potter. Not a lot of his pieces are around and they were selling really high. So even though I priced mine a little bit lower, it still sold. So 50 cents sold for $155 with 11.55 shipping, a profit of $142.95. And I still have one more that is listed. It just takes the right person to come along. Like I said, a lot of them were priced a lot higher than mine. And luckily I got mine sold. Oh, this real groovy 1970s tablecloth. Picked it up at a garage sale for a dollar. It was kind of stained. I have like a miracle solution that I use to soak my things in. I got this, it, I, oh, I can't remember the name of it, but um, you soak it and I really have had great luck with it. This came out perfect, no stains at all. So picked it up for a dollar, sold it for 45. It was heavier than you thought. So the shipping was 805, but I still made a profit of $35.95. Another weather instrument, this one at Seegers, I actually, this sold like within a day. I picked it up at not for $9. Um, it was featured in my last video, I believe. I sold it for $75. Shipping was $10.51, so a profit of $55.49. Pick up weather in instruments. Even the ones, do you remember the ones like that look like a little chateau and like a boy or a man or a woman will come out? Those sell pretty well too. This next peak Easter egg, hand blown, hand painted. These were very popular in the Victorian period. So like late 1800s, early 1900s. I bought this for $12.50 at a charity thrift store. Um, sold it for $59. Shipping was only $4.27, it wasn't very big. So a profit of $42.23. This was a very unique atomizer, certainly from the 50s, 60s. It still worked. You could unscrew it and put perfume in it, carry it in your purse. But I paid $4 at a thrift store for it, sold it for $35, $4.28 shipping, profit of $26.72. The Joseph Originals, it was the Farmer's Daughter series, that line, and this was Wednesday's Child. She was holding a little piglet. Uh, I happened to run across two from this line at a thrift store here in Sioux Falls not long ago. I paid $12 for her. She sold for $75, and on rare occasions, I will ship internationally if they pay for all of the shipping. So this one went to Canada. Um, she paid for the entire shipping, which I think was like $37. So I didn't have to pay for shipping. So my profit, $63 on her. Another five golden books. Um, I had these listed, like I had probably 30 of them listed. I'm getting down. I think I only maybe have five left. But this woman ordered five of them. I probably paid 50 cents a piece. I got a huge box at an auction sale once. So $2.50 is what I paid. Sold them for $46.81 with $5.58 shipping. So a profit of $38.73. A clover planter with St. Patrick's Day coming up. I, I did decide to get these St. Patty things and Easter things listed. This also sold really quick once it was listed. I only paid 25 cents for it. Um, advertised it as a planter, or you could use it as a pen and pencil holder. Sold it for $30, shipping of $4.67, so a profit of $25.08. And the last item, it was just a little fawn planter um, with a, a little deer fawn standing next to a tree trunk. I picked this up long, long ago for $2 at a thrift store. Uh, sold for $30, $4.87 shipping, so $23.13. The first two weeks of January were slower for me, but this past week has really picked up. 
So my total sales, $774.61. That is subtracting all of my, uh, the purchase price of the items. And then minus 9.5% on Etsy fees, which came to $73.58. So my total profit was $701.03. So definitely met my goal of $500 uh, peer profit each week. The first two weeks in January, I did not. They were like more right around the $300 mark. Um, but I, you know, it just, it comes and goes. We don't know what week is going to be great and what week isn't. So thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and uh, hit the like video if you've liked this. And hopefully I've given you some good tips of what to pick out when you're out thrifting. We'll see you on Sunday. Bye.